Yo, what's up gang? Just a small announcement before the video starts. I want to let you know that the new workout programs are out again, but only for the next 24 hours. After that, the programs will be closed and I'm going to help every each one of you who got it. So if you want to get it, check the link in the description below. Enjoy this video. Gorilla gang, friend, Vadim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Made by my gorilla friend, Vadim Molenik. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Uh, fuck. Yo, what's up, gang? Dan here, and today we're gonna do a killer ab workout made by my gorilla friend, Vadim Molenik. Yo, Let's gang. Go. Okay, Vadim, what are we gonna do today? Today it's gonna be a killer core workout too. If you want to have something like this, so <laughs> make a wish. <laughs> so we will have uh, three super hard exercises. You know, if you want to make your core strong, so you have to do something hard, you know. Uh, the first one is a dragon flag and there is some uh, specific form okay. that we have to go through to keep your form correct and to make your progress faster and better so let's go okay guys so i will explain the correct form on my brother dayan so then you can understand it better uh, lay down, grab the bar with the straight arms, straight them, go, yeah, straight, yeah, okay, put your big finger right there, yeah, and one hand over another one, like this, so guys, when you start making a dragon flux, it's very important that you start pushing yourself from the chest, there is three points, three points that are uh, activated by steps, so the first point is your chest, so you start pushing from the ground from your chest, then from your core and then the rest of your lower body is going up. It, it seems like uh, you have to activate your, yourself by, by points, but no. You have to activate, you have to push only from your chest and then the rest of your body will follow your, will follow your chest, you know, your back. Because most of the people, they saying, okay, Dragon Flux, it's, it's, it's not a hard exercise, you know, but the top athletes of the world, they are not even able to do it in a correct way. And the main thing is to do it in a correct way. Because they're bending in the back. Yeah, they are, right. they are bending in the back. They, uh, they start pushing their cells from the legs to make a keeping. And yeah. we have to do it, to do it with, the, with the whole strength. Yeah. Your legs have to touch the ground. Then you activate your chest, push your lower back to touch the ground. Your legs are touching the ground. So firstly, you push from your chest and then the rest of your body is following yourself. Let's try. Now, you see? Go down. Up, from here. Do not move your legs at all. Do not move your legs at all. Up. Yes. Okay, touch, up, yeah, as you can see, he's pushing himself from here, look, from here, without the activating his legs, his core, only from the chest, one more, okay, perfect, and why, <laughs> and why I'm telling you that you have to straight your hands while you're doing a dragon flag, because then, a lot of people are pulling, right? Because yes, a lot of people pulling from their hands to push their body from the ground, you know. And the main thing to push it from the chest, you know, to activate the, the muscles that you have to use while you're doing the dragon flags, you know. Uh, how many sets and reps we're gonna do? Uh, it's actually depend the training. You uh, how many do you do usually? I train it uh, with the MM system. Okay. I put, for example, uh, 10 minutes and every minute I make 7 reps, 
Okay. For for example, 30 minutes, every minute, five reps. Yeah, yeah. But also you can make it for the five sets, five sets of ten reps. That's how I usually do it. Yeah. yeah. Five sets of ten reps with a rest one minute, one minute, thirty between the sets. Okay. Okay. So it should be enough. Let's do it then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I will demonstrate you the proper form, how I do it. So, you grab the bar with the straight hand and while you do, while you pushing your whole your body all the way up, you are not using your hands because if you get closer to the bar like this, then it becomes I don't know, like 60 percent easier to push yourself from the ground, you know. So to straight your hands is the main thing, one of the most important. Then you activate your chest, then you push your core to the ground to touch the ground with your lower back and also all your legs have to touch the ground so then you grab the bar you touch and then you start pushing from your chest yeah i make decisions to glow ridiculous flow potential to glow you know i, I just do that consolidate my regions line it up put them together anyone that ever let me down forget them forever my memory's bad remember me though my memory's gone my memory it limits me home don't tree huggers cause all the lumber's gone niggas knocking on wood pass through the hood when it's good and they chopping up wood breaking up stems till in my brain with a limp like a so even for me <laughs> It's not easy, it's really difficult exercise if you get the proper form and if you, if you do it in a correct way because in my opinion the main thing in calisthenics to do everything with the proper form to make it harder and to make to put your progress on the next level. So I should be in the gym doing sit-ups, trying to get this six-pack. But forget that, where the click at? Where the bras and the cash and the whips at? Put a bit back, with a bop, with a bit, bit a bit back. <laughs> I just did that. Trying to focus on my get back, my get up, my re-up, my rematch. A patch of seeds and Apache debris passing through Indian Springs in Las Vegas, my Jeep. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is Medulla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is how you make it, you know? <laughs> Gang wave, fam! My past is my present, baby. The people have to know that I'm also human, you know? Like, just a bit. <laughs> Help. <laughs> 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 my memory's bad. Remember me though? My memory's gone. My memory it limits me home. No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone. Niggas knocking on wood. Pass through the hood when it's good and they chopping up wood. Breaking up stems till in my brim. With a limp like a pimp, though I'm shaped like a wimp. They put no fear in him. It's just me and the end of my timeline. Flow like a fine wine, smelling like fine pine. Yeah, is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing the winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? I'm Cain and Abel, I murdered my brother cause I'm Abel. Murdered myself because my own oh. ego so unstable. Oh my god, man. <laughs> so far we did 5 sets of 10 reps. And right now we are moving to the next exercise. So you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the bar, hang your leg raises. So you're gonna lift all the way up and then go halfway and then back up. So we're gonna focus more on just the lower part of the abs. And again, how much we're gonna do? Five sets of 10? Of 10 reps, yeah. yeah it's not. Let's go. If you didn't just sit back, then crack the six pack. I should be in the gym doing sit ups, trying to get this six pack. But forget that. Where the click at? Where the bras and the cash and the whips at? Put a bit back. With a bop, with a bit, bit a bit back. <laughs> I just did that. Trying to focus on my get back, my get up, my re up, my rematch. A patch of seeds and a patch of debris passing through Indian Springs in Las Vegas, my Jeep. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is Medulla Oblongata. Just doing what I gotta. Is this the end or? Just the beginning, am I losing or winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? That was poetry, huh? 
Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my readers, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. Don't tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone. Niggas knocking on wood. And the last thing, finally, that we're gonna do in this workout, it's gonna be the Russian twist with the 20 kg kettlebell. And we're gonna we're gonna do it together, right? Yeah, like a group exercise. <laughs> Let's go. This is how we're gonna do it. You're gonna put the 20 kg kettlebell in between. You lift your legs up and you do it. You grab it. Maybe I can do it with my legs on the ground. No. <laughs> Here, back, do. And while she's doing it, you're holding. The hardest part is to hold the legs up. You're gonna really feel it in your lower abs and your obliques. So again, it goes like this. One, one. One, one, you're gonna do 10 each, five sets. Again, if 20 kg is too much, you can do it 15, 10, five, or just do it body weight. Let's finish. Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my readers, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. Don't tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone. Niggas knocking on wood. Uh, okay, guys, that's it for this workout. So we basically did the whole amp. Area, so we did up the hole, we did the obliques, we did lower abs, basically everything. Do everything with perfect form, and everything we did was five sets, 10 to 15 reps. And yeah, uh, so those exercises that we are showing you, they are, I can say, advanced ones. Uh, so uh, you can choose amount of reps depending on your level. and. And yeah, enjoy this training. So yeah, if you guys wanna check out Vadim, you have his Instagram, his YouTube in the description below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, comment down what you think, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. More is coming. Let's go.